Welcome to the channel and to this painting tutorial where today we're going to be working on the Castellax Battle Automata for the Mechanicum Tagmata Army. Some people have been asking for this video for a while, how do I go about painting these, so this is it, this is how I do it, and uh, spoilers ahead, it's very quick, it's dirty, and it's cheaty. I have to admit, I stole the colour palette, I think I was looking on uh, Bella Lost Souls page, and I saw some Castellax painted up in a very similar style, and thought, I like it, I want to do that, so that's where I got the idea for the colours from. But another primary motivator was it was mainly metallic, and metallics are very quick and very easy to do. And I say it was a motivator because I wanted to make sure that my Mechanicum Tagmata army was fully painted. When I bought the models, I was going to paint them straight away. I wasn't going to have uh, 25, 50%, 75% of my army sat in a box unpainted. And with the exception of a couple of models, 90% of my Mechanicum army is fully painted. I managed to stick to that rule. And picking this colour palette and picking metallics to paint with um, allowed me to do that. And for those of you that have seen a couple of my other painting tutorials, you'll know the technique by now, which is chuck all your base colours on, add a wash, then highlight up from there. And that's pretty much what I do with all of my chisel. So this is going to be quick, this is going to be dirty, this is not a master painting class. Turn off if you're easily offended, but uh, if you'd like to find out more, well, hold on tight. We're going to press the warp drive and go back to the beginning of this process. So here we are at the start of the process. Uh, it's important to prime Forge World resin models. So this chap has been assembled and sprayed with a coat of Chaos Black. Right, then I sprayed the model in lead belcher silver. If you don't have a spray, just paint it silver. Then we're going to work up from here, applying colour all over the model um, until we finally put a wash on it. We're going to work on the lowest parts first, the cracks, the joints, the hinges under the arms, bits like that, and do the plates, the higher parts, last. That will avoid overpainting, overlapping. Okay. First we're going to stress the parts of the metal which aren't the uh, uh, nice plates. So you get some Rune Lord brass and uh, paint it in the cracks, in the nooks, in the crannies. So around the back here you can see it in places. So it's not on parts of that, but it's down in these bits. It's not on that bit there, but it's down on these bits. Patchy, patchy, patchy. It'll make the metal look old and damaged. Bit of corn red, corn red on the power core. And uh, while I'm doing the red on those lights there and on the eye to the skull and on the eye to the skull, and then Castellan Green, my favourite colour. This model is dripping in cables. And so I've painted every single cable in Castellan Green. I haven't bothered with being too precise. Just shove it in there. Um, go over, if I've gone over the plates of the metal here, these are going to get repainted. If I've gone over the little bits that I already did with the, the rusty colour, that's fine too. Okay, the secret to painting nice shiny brass part one is uh, don't st start with a brass. Um, start with gold instead, put a gold undercoat on there. Again, it's not precise, I just slapped it on there. Uh, it is an undercoat, haven't gone in all the cracks, haven't gone in all the corners, just got a layer. It'll make the brass shine. Uh, and a gold was or 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 that stuff, armour gold. Then you're going to want to put two layers of hash put copper over the gold. First layer looks like this. Camera doesn't pick it up terribly well, but uh, if you try this technique, you'll know what I mean. It's it's smeary as hell. It needs another layer. So do one light layer, wait for it to dry, and then do it again. This is what it looks like after the second layer of copper. Right, now I'm thinking about the last few touches before we stick on the wash. So you can see black on the shoulder, black on the gun, black on the barrel, of, uh, black in the eye, black in the eye, the service skull. Just picking out the black bits now, last few little bit of details. Um, around the red dots on the lights, a, a bit of silver. Uh, yeah, white on the skull next, I think. So I just put the white on the service skulls, and that's it, it's ready for a wash. But before you wash, just go and have a good look at the model and... Uh, make sure any obvious mistakes are tidied up. There was a bit of brass on one of the cabling, copper on one of the cabling, for example. So yeah, just tidy it up, wait for it to dry properly before we stick this wash on it. Now we're gonna get some null oil, which is a black wash. 
and uh, paint it all over the model. Uh, typically you'd shake your oils, um, it helps the pigment, but in this case we don't want to shake it, it'll leave it a bit more shiny, uh, increase the effect that we're going for. And this is what it looks like once the wash is on there. Be generous, be fierce, slap it on there. And then we're going to have to wait a couple of hours for it to dry thoroughly. Uh, so I'll get back to this tomorrow, I think. Let's go and, uh, let's go and have some tea. Once the wash is dried, we need to stress the metal a little bit because it's a little bit too shiny. So we're going to add some touches to it here or there. Uh, see these cracks? Uh, uh, these cracks in the bits and this bit along here we're just going to add some touches of black paint here or there just to damage up that brass that copper a little bit so here we go just a couple of seconds later some black smears there some black smears around there uh, along this port portion of the gun just dragging some light lines over the armor and it gives it an oily greasy sticky like residue look pattern uh, effect yes let's say effect uh, then get some corn red a little bit of corn red and um, just touches a little bit of wash here or there on parts of the armor again we're just trying to stress it we're just trying to break up the copper look and make it look a bit more damaged a little bit more worn after you put a little bit of black on, a little bit of red on, it will look like this. And we're talking about a tiny touch, 10 seconds of black, just a few touches here or there, 10 seconds of red, just a few touches here or there. Very, very quick, uh, very, very simple. The last touches to the metal, we're gonna get a Rune Fang steel, which is a light color steel. And we're gonna dry brush um, the upper edges of all these metal plates. And we're gonna dry brush a little bit of steel actually straight onto the copper, the brass type effect. Uh, so this is what the model looks like before. Here we are at the end of the process, some dry brushing, uh, silver around the edges, around the edges, on the front here, around here, a bit on there, actually on this black shoulder guard, uh, and of course, on the highest points of the model, uh, get your artist on, uh, just drag some light paint over the entire model, touches here or there, uh, over this bit. And we're going to do exactly the same, but with Dawnstone Grey, and that'll give it a dusty greyish look. And again, top to bottom, we're going to go over Dawnstone Grey, but in particular, we're going to make sure we pick out the edges of the black and the edges of the black. And it should give it a, a nice old, 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 old look. All right, and that's the grey dry brush done. Just a light bit of grey on a knackered brush. Do that everywhere. You can see the gun, uh, see the edges uh, clearly now. And the grey parts, the, door, the, the uh, castling green bits in here, or the cabling. Make sure... They're done as well, and uh, yeah, do that top to toe, very lightly over the whole model. Finishing touches to the model, a bit of light red on the power core there, and some white along the top of the uh, Mauler pattern bolt cannon, some white on the tips of the claws, that's a very, very light dry brush uh, to highlight the very top edges. Some uh, white as well uh, on the skulls. And the base, and that's it. And here's the money shot, a Castlax ready to be deployed and take on the enemies of the Imperium. So, as I said at the beginning, it's not about spending hours and hours and hours on the model and making a thing of beauty. It's about technique, it's about getting the paint on there and uh, picking a good color palette, a striking color palette. And finding a system that works well for you so you can get dozens of models painted rather than um, a dozen models painted. Get your whole army done. So I hope you'll agree that the end result is is good. It's, it's, it's striking, particularly when you have 50 or 60 of brass, bronze, copper models steaming towards the uh, opponent on the other side of the table. Um, I like it. 
it's easy, it's quick, and yeah, pretty. So thank you very much for watching and happy wargaming.